This looks perfect. Welcome. Today's video is a slightly geeky, multi-angle look at how the limited slip differential is in the wet. I've been asked quite a few times over the last couple of weeks, should I get one? Do I need one? Is it a worthwhile upgrade? Ultimately, that is entirely up to you. We're all different. We all want different things from our cars. Mine's been fitted for four weeks now and in the last week finally I've had some rain so I'm going to share a few thoughts with you that may help you make up your mind. Now if you're new here, firstly welcome and secondly I have four words for you. Subscribe please, thank you. So I've got a nice stretch of road with a few quiet roundabouts on. So I'm going to explore how the diff is in the wet in each of the driving modes. So what can you expect if you fit a limited slip differential to the BMW M140i? Well, that really depends entirely on how you drive it. If you drive with all of the safety systems engaged, you know, Eco Pro, Comfort or Sport, it's doubtful you'll feel the benefit. But if, like me, you're happy driving with everything turned off, you're comfortable with the car moving about and you enjoy that, then it changes absolutely everything. That's not to say there's no benefits if you drive with safety systems on. You've got um, the traction of both rear wheels for the engine to work with, so it does accelerate harder. But if straight line acceleration is your thing, I'd say save your money. Go and get a remap. You'll get better gains for less money. If you're happy driving in Sport Plus or just with the traction control one stage turned off, I'd say yeah, get one. If you like giving the back of the car a bit of a wiggle, it does that. It's a bit more consistent when it does it. But you do get that as standard, you know, it's not the most graceful thing, but it does move. Driving modes then, let's stick it into Sport. So I've got the same chassis settings, so the dampers and steering on all three modes are the same as far as I'm aware, DSC off, Sport with dampers set to firm and Sport Plus. But in this mode I've got traction fully on, so here we go, look, full lock, I'm trying to get the back to move, I've got my foot down, nothing, and then it goes. Try again, it's really well judged this traction control system. But as I come off here, I've got my foot to the floor and it just stays hooked up. We'll try that again coming out of the next roundabout. So I'm squeezing on. Nothing, nothing. It's really good, really good. Here we go, second gear. I feel it's struggling, but it's got traction all the way. It really keeps it well under control. So now let's go Sport Plus. So this relaxes the traction off and also relaxes the DSC, you know, what's going to catch you if you slide. Rev matches for you, so no need for heel and toe. Ooh. See, I don't like that. It lets it move, but it catches you. So I'm not going to try and slide the car now, I'm just going to squeeze it on. Hopefully I don't give it a bit too much throttle. Perhaps that was a bit too much. Not intentionally trying to slide the back, just trying to feel where it is and where it breaks away. Okay. But you feel it doing things, it kind of comes back but it's not, it doesn't feel right, it's not natural. If you like just edging up to the limits of grip that you've got at the back, it does allow some movement, but ultimately it will save you. It's just a bit kind of not very graceful when it does it. Now let's go DSC fully off. There we go. Softens the throttle off a bit, but otherwise it's completely the same. 
so I have to heal in time myself. That one was terrible. balance it just trying to bring the throttle in as I unwind the steering don't really want to overwhelm the grip of the rear tires but just want to feel where it there <laughs> so just squeeze it as you unwind the steering so long as you do that, squeeze the throttle as you're taking the lock off and you're conscious of what you've got, it's fine. As I said in my last video, it's not going to kill you. Right, let's try it in first gear. Not quite, not quite. Let's try it again. Right in first gear. So, if you like driving with DSC off, in my opinion, it is vital. 100%, no question, the end.